Hey what's up guys this is Ivan Rami from Bot and Cop Bot Support back again with another video. This video will cover my setup for PlayStation Direct consoles as well as some tips on how to be even more successful. I realized I didn't have a video of my setup yet and last week there was that public drop so I wanted to get this out to you guys. As you can tell from my webhooks I was very successful last drop and I even ended up passing out links within our cook group. If you're looking for a helpful cook group, you should consider joining Botancop. Botancop has all the monitors and alerts for sites such as Walmart, Best Buy, Amazon, and we also have the info on profitable flips. On top of that, we offer free ACO where we run one of your accounts on sites such as Amazon, Walmart, and Best Buy. If you're interested, I'll leave a link down below where you can join Botancop for as low as $1. Okay, we can jump into the setup now. Um, the first thing you want to do is make sure you're on Stellar 3.0, um, specifically on the latest versions as they'll have the modes you need to be successful. Um, and also when you're making your task group, it's not going to say PlayStation Direct, it'll say queue it, which is what you'll need. Um, the reason is queue it is basically a form where you're in a queue and it's utilized by different sites. So it's not just restricted to PlayStation Direct, but that's the most common way people use this mode. So just make sure you click queue it and I'll just name it PlayStation Direct or whatever, PS5. So once you do that, um, as you can see, I have my task here, my task group, so I can create a task. Um, the only option is normal. For checkout proxy, I would actually use ISPs, but resis also work. Just so you know, um, but for me, I like to save my data and ISPs work perfectly fine last drop. Here in the URL, you're going to use one of two. So if it's a public drop, Stellar last drop, they, they had a link for us in their announcements um, that you could have used. Otherwise, when you get emails from PlayStation Direct saying, oh, you've been chosen to join our private queue, use that link instead. That way you can get in and log in from there. So for this one, let me go into Stellar real quick and get that link they had last time. All right, so I found the link. It's here within staff announcements. I would grab that, take it over here, paste that in. For CAPTCHA provider, I use CapMonster, but feel free to use AYCD or bot. But for me, CapMonster worked perfectly fine. Um, when you're putting in your API key, um, which is found in the settings, um, make sure you have like a balance of like $10. That should last you for a while. Then for the method, you want to use link. The reason is if you use browser and you're running so many tasks, I think it'll still limit how many browsers are open, but it's just slow and you're, you're better off getting those links and even being able to distribute those with other people. So do link and with the engine type just do um, you're going to be doing both of these so I would start with JS. So here is where it will depend on your setup. If you're using a, a server which I would highly recommend because servers can handle this much load. Um, I would do like a thousand of the JS and then a thousand of the go types. and um, Specifically, I use soft servers. I'll leave a link down below so you guys can buy one of those. But these servers have not had any issues. They work perfectly fine, and they my speeds are like really, really great compared to what my local is. So I would highly recommend that if you don't have a server and you're just going to run it on your PC, this will vary because some computers are just more powerful than others. So I would basically do half of this, so 500 and 500 on a PC that you're on. Um, just It just depends on how good your computer is. So I'm going to go ahead and create, hit create. So it made all 1,000 of those. And then let's do another 1,000. Just like that. I'm not going to start all of these, but Stellar can handle this much task, so you know. But So when... um. When PlayStation Direct drops, there's going to be a waiting room. This waiting room will be like 10 minutes before the actual queue starts. 
and you can go ahead and start your task when that waiting room is up it's just going to say waiting room or whatever here right now it's saying 302 because obviously there's no queue yet um for playstation direct so this setup's pretty easy um once again make sure you have your um captcha key in in there as well as your webhooks because once you choose um link you're going to be getting a bunch of uh these links right here you would just reveal that and then um press that and it'll take you to the checkout so the other half that's really important for these drops um uh, is you can only get one console per household so even if it's digital or disc you can only get one so what I would recommend is for you guys to try to jig. So here's an example, 002 2022 Main Street Apartment 3. This would work if you have like a house. Um, but I will say it's really hard to jig on PlayStation Direct. They're just on top of it. So do your best. Make maybe you'll get through. Otherwise, I would recommend you guys to use uh, the houses or the places where your friends and family live. And just send it over there and be like hey I'm gonna use your address for whatever um, that's one way I've been getting a lot also make sure you use different cards this can be like virtual cards or hard cards the reason is because I believe um, they'll they'll keep track of what card is being used for what um, purchase also we think in our group that they're tracking the IP of what of of the purchase that you made so let's say one ip is making already made one purchase we realized that uh, we couldn't get another one this may just be us but this is what we're thinking so i would recommend you guys to use vpns or proxies uh for the checkout and um i'll show you guys right here just google bp proxy proxy switcher this is like an extension i'll leave a link down below as well but you can go ahead and get this and then it'll look like this green thing right here. It's going to show you what proxy you're using. You can add your list here. Um, but basically you can add all your proxies and um, be able to use those on your Chrome tab. This might help and it might not. It just depends on how strict uh, uh, PlayStation Direct is and how good your um, proxies are. But if anything, you can use a VPN. Also with the tasks, like I stated, you want to start when the waiting room is open. Um, I was I would have at least 2k or more tasks if you're on a server, around 1k if you're not, and also use a combination of the tasks uh, of the engine types. That way you're covered if one is working better than the other. And again, use the link mode. It's just going to be a way better experience for you. And um, also if you're you're you if it's at a private make sure you get the link from your email also one other thing make sure you have accounts ahead of time you can make them when the drop is happening but it's still one per um one console per account so i forgot to add that but make sure you do that so i think that's basically it this setup isn't too bad just uh, a lot of a lot of hassle with getting more than one so hopefully you guys found that useful um, next video I have an exciting idea so I'm get happy to uh, get that out soon for you guys but other than that let me know what you guys want to see next and I hope you have a great day thank you